Now, when it comes to AMC stock, this next week could perhaps be the most important week in the entire AMC stock short squeeze saga that we've been going through for the last year and a half. Guys, Ape Dividend, the AMC preferred equity, is going to be released or should be released into your account on Monday if you have not gotten it already. What this means is we are going to see brokers across the globe allowing people to really understand whether or not they're holding real shares, fake shares, uh, whatever kind of shares you guys want to think that are out there. And this could expose the synthetics that people have been dreaming of for the last basically, what, 18 months? And, and look, I do want to go over some realistic expectations and some assumptions that should be made going into next week because it's going to be very dangerous if Monday comes around and you don't have your shares of Ape and decide to sell your AMC simply because you think that they're synthetics and then Tuesday comes around and your shares do get delivered. So we're going to discuss about this and if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up everybody, I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description below for Webull. It is super simple to set up your account. Any deposit, you guys are getting six free stocks, $1 crypto trade, you're going to get $5 in free crypto. And although it's too late to get your shares of Ape based on the dividend, I mean, you could buy them on Monday, right? If, it, if you think that you want to be a part of this short squeeze, it is not too late to get in. Sign up for your brokerage account, and then Monday, you can buy, sell, trade, AMC, and APE if you would like. So let's talk about that, because I want to go over a couple safe assumptions that we can make, because we've already seen some brokers, Charles Schwab I know is one, uh, people were saying Fidelity in some of their accounts, they've got it. But nonetheless, some brokers are already showing at least the placeholder for APE in people's accounts. Others, and, and Webull is included, Webull does show that Webull has a, or that AMC, sorry, has a corporate action taking place, and therefore you will be receiving the dividends. But the, the furthest out that I've seen is Cash App. Cash App is saying that it could take anywhere from one to two, up to seven business days for people to receive their APE dividend. <clears throat> and this is a little concerning to me. I mean, it truly is. I don't own any stocks or crypto or anything in Cash App. But nonetheless, if you're looking at a payment date and a dividend X date, which means the first day that it's trading after the, the dividend execution is being Monday, and Cash App is saying it could take up to seven days to receive your dividend. It's very strange to me that that would happen. The good news is, if it does happen that way, they're simply restricting the trading on APE as opposed to stopping you or prohibiting you from getting that dividend. So you will see the price of AMC cut down on Monday. And, and don't be shocked if you look in your account and you don't necessarily have the shares that you would think. Now, a lot of people, okay, the notion behind this is that everybody's going to start claiming naked shares, fake shares, synthetic shares, <clears throat> I didn't get my dividend, uh, something is wrong, we, we, <laughs> the shorts have been exposed. There's going to be a lot of this blowing up if, if it's simply the broker's fault that you haven't received your dividend yet. And like I say, I wanted to point out the difference and, and the difference in this distribution in the sense that, you know, some accounts have already shown placeholders. Others like Cash App are saying it could take up to seven days to receive your dividend. So there's obviously a very large range and you just want to be calm and, and collected or level headed, I guess, when making your decision on whether or not you think that you have a synthetic in your portfolio. My personal belief is that the synthetics are, I guess, marked by FTDs and that we're not floating on billions of synthetics out there. I understand that it is the overwhelming belief of the AEMC community that there are billions of synthetics out there. So we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. 
Um, nonetheless, don't jump to any crazy conclusions and sell simply because you think that you have a naked short in your portfolio and then Tuesday comes around and they do deliver your shares of Ape. Now, the next thing I want to talk to or talk about is, is whether or not this is going to trigger the short squeeze. If it doesn't, <coughs> sorry, if it doesn't, it is, <laughs> it's very indicative that we know that we, we don't necessarily worry about the, the dilution right off the bat. I know it is something that I show a lot of concern about, but until it happens, it doesn't necessarily mean that the short squeeze is over, that the short squeeze is ruined. But I will say this, okay? Dilution is not a good thing. Dilution is not our friend. Dilution is not going to help the short squeeze in any way. Dilution dilutes the shares, and those shares will be sold directly to institutions. So you have to remember that if you're, you know, if you're looking at Adam Aaron as some sort of a hero, guys, don't let him walk away with the money. The money is supposed to be mine. The money is supposed to be yours. The money is supposed to be retails, not Adam Aaron's. These suits, these executives, and and the other institutions that he will be selling to. And finally, the last thing I want to talk about is the trading volume. <clears throat> a lot of people are very convinced that nobody is selling shares of AMC and that nobody will be selling shares of Ape. Guys, if we go into Monday and we have 50 million, 100 million shares of Ape being traded, it does not mean that those are all naked shorts. It does not mean that those are all fake shares. It does not mean that those are all institutions going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, high frequency trading. It does mean that people are trading shares of ape. And I don't want people to jump to the conclusion that all of a sudden there's billions of shares of, of ape in existence as well as billions of shares of AMC in existence. It's a dangerous assumption to be made and the path that that leads down is a never ending struggle. <coughs> of we're unable to we're unable to I guess quantify or number the shares that are out there because everything is fake and everything is being created by the hedge funds in some sort of a synthetic manner. So I want to know what you guys think. Are these safe assumptions to make or do you guys simply believe that if there's one share of ape traded on Monday that it means that it's naked and and because nobody is literally trading ape. Let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. And of course, if this button right here is still red, make sure to click it, subscribe to the channel, join us, become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. You guys got Claybro883 on Twitter and Instagram, getting six free stocks on Weeble. And until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.